Welcome to Texas Haunted Channel. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. And welcome back to everyone who's already been here before. Before we get started, I want to show you the paint I did on the valve cover. It has a pearl gold over this white. It looks absolutely beautiful. And that is the white I'm going to be doing on the entire vehicle. I know at first glance this paint job looks great, but if you were to see it in person, you would see all the true imperfections. Looks like they didn't even sand it down prior to painting. That's just how we got it, but not a big deal. Um, I have video of me painting on my other channel, so if you're new here and you didn't know that channel, definitely check the links in the description. And I also painted the valve cover over there. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started over here. Okay, moving on over here, we have the shifter assembly that will be going into the RSX. Uh, there is a discount code and a link in the description to save you guys some money to get this if you want this one. I know some people like name brand only to each their own, um, but this is a very nice quality and it's a very solid unit and I'm well pleased with it. And the price point is pretty good. So definitely check the link in the description. This is from Jack Spania Racing. Huge shout out to him for providing the parts. And I have been buying parts through him since before the sponsorship. So don't just think I'm trying to sell you a product that I don't actually like. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't use it. I've turned down lots of people in the emails that wanna sponsor me for parts that I don't even like. So that's why you don't see them. Um, but yeah. I'm definitely not going to lie for views. I base my morals off the Ten Commandments, so that shall not lie is one of them. Um, there's also some stuff like this, which is really cool on his website. You can actually reverse this either direction, so these vents will go either way. And I'll be hooking up the catch can with lines. Very nice quality. Um, I painted the oil cap gold, laser etched the Sheikah symbol on it, and it looks really cool. Uh, that's from Legend of Zelda, so if anyone was wondering. But... Um, Solid mounts, gonna try to put those in. I'm super excited for this so that we can take this to the track, really put some abuse on these parts to show you that they're actually pretty good. We have the fuel rail here with the 1,000cc injectors. I got injector clips at the salvage yard from a Ford Expedition. I think it was like 2006. Um, and this is Jack Spania's fuel rail and the lines and all the stuff for that. Uh, but yeah, I flow tested and cleaned these injectors. Even though they're brand new injectors, I always like to do this um, because I don't want to have one of them lean out the cylinder and then blow the engine because one is spraying a little less fuel than the other. So it's a very important thing to do. I like to always do that. But uh, yeah, we're basically just going to install this. I'm going to show you how to take the factory one out and replace it with this one. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, to remove the center console, get to the shifter assembly. There is two Phillips head screws, one here, one on the other side. There will also be a clip in here that we'll get to take it out so that way the cigarette lighter is disconnected. Um, so go ahead and remove those two Phillips head and then we'll move to the front. All right, next on the list is to pry this panel right here out. Use like a panel tool or a flat head. And just get behind it and gently pry it out. It doesn't break easy so it should be okay for you to just kind of pull it straight out like that and then disconnect the connector on the back and we have access to the Phillips head screws there's two of them one here and one over here okay next is to remove the shifter knob some of them just unscrew this one right here is already wobbly so it just kind of pulls right off um, then we will move this up pull it up Sometimes they take force, but these do come up. Okay, now this just pulls up out of the way. Now that we got that out of the way, there's two more Phillips head screws. One right here and one on this side. And now this piece can actually pop out a little bit on that side. Pop out on that side. Once you pull it out like that, there's the connector back there for the cigarette lighter. You can reach your hand in here and just kind of pull it um, out. And then make sure the e-brake isn't too high up or too far down. And it will just come out like that. Okay, now that the center console's gone, we can see that the shifter cable bushing is completely gone. So this is with it in gear. This is with it in neutral. 
definitely moves a lot. Now there's four 12 millimeter bolts, one here, one here, one there, and one there. So get all four of those 12s out after you remove these little uh, cotter pins here. So we'll just go ahead and remove those real quick. Now that we got that done, there's actually a clip right here for the wiring. Just basically pop that up. Okay, right here for this cable, there's actually a clip. Just get a flat head under it, pry it up. It's the best way I've found to do them. And that cable comes right out. The other side, you actually have to turn the cable and then slide it out. So now we can undo the four 12 millimeter bolts. Now we can pull it out. Okay, here they are side by side. Um, obviously the plastic one will be easier to break than the aluminum one. So this one should last for a very long time. Uh, even with some like power shifts, it should still be good. The factory one was holding up. Um, right here, these little pieces of rubber you just push out the little metal pins in them and you can reuse these factory pieces of rubber which is what I'm going to do so I'm just gonna go ahead and push these rubber out and put them in the other one and get it installed all right now we're just gonna go ahead and put this one in the place of the factory one all right pretty easy just put the four 12 millimeter bolts back in I did clean under it before putting this new shifter in and that's pretty much it. I did take the pieces of rubber where the bolts go from the other shifter assembly. But uh, yeah, next is the shifter cable. If you can see, there's a piece of rubber back there. Uh, you can pry that up and then you'll go in the engine bay, undo the shifter cables out there. And then we can pull this through. So we're gonna go do that. Okay, it's pretty simple on these ones out here as well. Just remove the cotter pins on both of them pry up these pieces here just like we did on the inside one you see the cables run all the way down that direction so we're just going to go ahead move those out and then we will actually unbolt this whole bracket and put the new bracket in so we'll go ahead and do it Okay, got the new bracket installed and uh, got the cables over here. Now we will have to get under the car and unbolt them and we can pull them the rest of the way through the car. Okay, so behind this heat shield and the sway bar right here, there's two 10 millimeter bolts that we'll need undone. And then there's another set of 10 millimeter bolts right there. And then that's where the cable goes in the car. So you're gonna have to undo those. All right, inspecting them and I already see right off the bat, they're torn on both of them right here. That's actual wires exposed. We follow it to the transmission side and wires showing. And they electrical tape to fix the problem, which did absolutely nothing. So it was definitely time to replace these in the shifter assembly. Now, I want to use this factory grommet, but I'm not quite sure how to make it work with these properly. So I'm gonna find a way to get them through here, probably just trim some of this out, squeeze them together, and uh, hope for the best. But I definitely wanna make sure that this goes back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we're just gonna reinstall these the same way that we pulled these ones out. So we'll go ahead and get to it. Okay, I fed them through the same way I pulled them out. This is the big one. It goes right there. And what's cool about these is you unscrew these pieces, then you feed them through like that and then you can tighten them down without having to use those annoying pins or clips and then this will just go directly on there and then we'll have to put the cotter pin and all that on and then do this side as well same thing so we'll go ahead and do that
All right, got those in. Now we're gonna make sure these little nuts are tightened right here. All right, now that those are all tightened up, everything looks good on this side, we're gonna go inside. Moving on to the shifter assembly inside, the best way I know to say this is driver side cable goes to driver side of transmission or the small side of the transmission shifter. The passenger side goes to the passenger side of the transmission, which is the bigger end. I just wanted to make that very clear. If you get them backwards, it will not shift properly. That's your problem. So uh, as long as you get them on normal, it should be fine. And these also pull in the same way. You can also use the factory clips here and tighten it down to those clips if you want. Or you can just tighten it this way and call it good, which that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, there's different levels to adjust it at. You'll have to find which level you prefer to drive it at. I'm not going to tell you which one to run it at. But uh, yeah, you can definitely run them in different levels. I'm going to be running the very top one, which will move the shifter just a little bit farther forward. This is also an adjustable height right here as well. So pretty nice. They have these little bolts to go through it. And they actually thread through all the way. And on this one here, it has a lock nut that goes on the back just to make sure it doesn't come loose. And then this one here is just a normal bolt. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten them down. They are 8 millimeter nuts and bolts. And these here are 22 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, there it is all installed looks really good make sure all of these allens are nice and tight you might have to adjust this after the shift bag goes over it or something like that but um yeah looks pretty good it feels awesome and everything seems to be shifting exactly how it should so i'm going to go ahead reassemble the center console the same way i pulled it out and we'll see how it looks all right got it all back together it looks pretty much stock feels really good through all the gears the only gear that is any sort of issue is reverse because it's touching the plastic on the shifter part but uh i'm sure there's a way around that but it works for me i can just force it over it's no big deal but yeah definitely working so we're going to take it out for a little drive and see how it does while moving through the gears all right so this thing feels absolutely incredible it has somewhat of a notchy feel to it and it's just very responsive and stiff the stock one was so wobbly and it just felt I don't know unsafe if that makes sense but this one it feels very sturdy you know which gear you're going to there's no doubt about it so I am very well pleased with this shifter for sure and for the price it is it's awesome all right yeah, definitely loving this shifter for sure. All right, so I was pulling in and I see this guy in front of my wife's MDX. So apparently it's tarantula season already. Yuck. So yeah, that's basically it for the shifter install. I definitely am very well pleased with it. The only thing is with the reverse, we have to adjust the cables and the heights and all of that stuff. I'll have to spend a day figuring all that out, but that will solve the reverse problem. Uh, it's not really much of a problem. It's just I have to go very far to the right and then down. Um, we can adjust that using the cables. That's why they're adjustable, I think, is so that it can work with the factory setup. But if we take the plastic off, it shifts perfectly fine into reverse. But... I am definitely well pleased with it. Well, yeah, we're definitely making progress with the RSX. Old one was just a little too wobbly and uh, really torn up. But definitely like the new shifter. It's very positive feel. Uh, I was going to try to get these solid mounts in in this video. Unfortunately, don't have enough time. I still have to edit this video. It took a lot longer to record this video than expected. Um, but either way, it's done. So now we can move on to the next thing in the next video, whether it's solid mounts or the catch can breather, all that stuff, maybe the injectors. There's definitely some more content coming. So 
but we still have to get this thing dyno tuned i need a little bit more funds I'm trying to sell some more merch um, but we need to get this on the dyno after i get the injectors in it and see what it can make for right now we still will have to upgrade the fuel system to do a return line and all of that in the future but we're going to see what we can get on it with the 1000 cc injectors tuned on 93 i'm not doing e85 i'll go over that in another video but uh yeah really happy with how it's turning out so that's basically it for this video i know a lot of people are probably going to tell me i need new seats i already know this they look terrible but uh yeah if you like the video learn something definitely hit that like button drop a comment share the video around it helps me tremendously but that's basically it i'll see you in the next one and as i like to say god bless stay safe stay awesome